for for this uh, short interview. You'll be playing next after the guys finish. So prepare yourself and uh, join us in a moment. And uh, we are ready to jump into Hoy versus AK Wonder. It's 2-1 for AK Wonder at the very moment. Let's see what's happening on that side. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need time? <laughs> <I> need <him. laughs> he yeah. will be ready in just a I'll moment. So, I'll solo cast, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Are you just, yeah, I will join later. <laughs> okay, so we do have AK Wonder versus Hoy. It looks like AK Wonder is actually 2 1 up. We are jumping into the series like midway through, or just past midway, I guess, depending on how it goes. It appears to be AK Wonder with his control warrior and uh, Hoy, I know he said Tice, just because he sat next to me. Uh, Hoy on his uh, Druid as well. So yeah, I'm actually still with you, so I'll help yeah. you cast this one. Yeah, you can join in too, <laughs> Nims. We got this. So um, this Control Warrior is one that's uh, sort of making the rounds recently as well. It's pretty much the kill-all warrior, where its full focus is to just remove every single threat um, that the their opponent presents in forms of minions, and then just end the game with combinations of, at least for the late games, uh, you know, it's like the Control Mirrors, Yogg to do Yogg things, as we can see now, and then Grom as well to finish up the game. And hello, Ecop. Yes. Hi there. Yeah, Ikub hey. is in everything, and uh, he's also in this cast. Uh, so we invited Ikub to cast with us. Yeah, I heard you need some casters. So Ikub saves the Wait, day. Look yog. at the charge on the Yog. <laughs> As a quick breakdown of this Yog Saron. Oh, this Yog Saron right here. Yeah, uh, uh, seems pretty bad. It killed itself, but <laughs> it other, than that, other than that, it uh, seemed like it's done a lot. I didn't see all of it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the two secrets are available actually, because uh, one's Hunt and one's Paladin, though. We can say that. But uh, yeah, I think whenever Yogg plays secrets, you, it's always going to be at least decent unless you've died that turn because the secrets cause your opponent to have to deal with so many awkward uh, potential options. Overall, it seems that still Warrior is in a good position because uh, there's a lot of burst for uh, for the Druid. There's no Malagus yet, and at some point also, um, there is not enough damage. So if he gets Malagus, how much damage does this? Well, you can get a maximum of uh, 26 with just the uh, uh, 0 and 1 mana spells. Uh, and actually with Innervate, it's in swipe, it's swipe it's even more. But uh, I don't think that Akai Wonder is going to be sweating at all in this matchup because he can generate so much armor and it's going to be tough with the limited amount of threat that uh, the Maligos Druid has to punch through that armor and then finishing off with the uh, Maligos. Yeah, I've played this matchup quite a few times actually as the Druid and I've uh, really struggled most of the time because the Warrior can like just toe-to-toe -to -toe, like match your threat. So you play your Arcane Giants, shield slams them or something. And then uh, other than that, unless you get something absolutely crazy off say a uh, Moonglade Portal, then you really just run low on anything that can actually kill the Warrior. You have Maligos first, as you know, as we just discussed, but as you said, Eco, a lot of the time the warrior just gets too much armor that Maligos burst isn't enough, then they execute Maligos and then they're like, so how else are you going to kill me? There's, there's no other damage in the deck. Well, it, feels, it feels like it's actually pretty much impossible to win with just the combo, right? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and the warrior obviously doesn't have any issues dealing with Arcane Giants and all the other threats. So I think that the only chance of Hoi winning with this was basically going for the full combo. Uh, to deal some damage and then like doing the rest with the Yogg. But, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> but uh, now uh, that Yogg is gone already, I think that... Uh, really however bad it sounds in terms of a strategy for a matchup, you pretty much do have to rely on Yogg getting some insane work done in this deck, yeah. in this matchup specifically, because otherwise the Warrior has answers for everything you can do to it. So and now with Malagos you have, what, 28 damage, right? Because you have 20 from this uh, four spells you're casting, plus uh, the total strength of spells is 6, 8. Hmm. Is it correct? With just Malagos. So like, let's say Azurjik dies next turn. You play yeah. Malagos, so you innervate, uh, swipe, and you play all of the free spells. It's 28 total. Well, uh, no. Yes. Yeah, I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. 30. Without the Azure Drake? Without the Azure Drake. Yeah. Uh, Why is it? Is it 30? Malagos is five plus 5 damage per spell, right? 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 7 is 19, plus... Oh, it's 20. <laughs> <laughs> so the, mind. the easiest way to count it, I think, is just uh, 5 times the, the spells you cast. So it's 20. And then just add the, the spells, which is 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. Maths with Nimsh. But either way, it's uh, definitely not enough. Yeah, it's not 39. But it's Al something. Although, is the... Oh, never mind. Okay. I didn't see the uh, the 
the go how. I was gonna say you, you, there needs to still be an answer to Malagos on the board, right? Yeah. I don't like, know. Maybe maybe one living roots was used already. Can I you slow know. roll it? Just deal the damage really slowly. Be like, well played, and make them concede. Oh, the go probably not. <laughs> go house only on four. So do you have to like double ick a brawl? Well, you can yokes around. Yeah, but come on, are you, are you really telling me you're gonna rely on yokes around? Well, what to do you what Maligos? do you really expect after all those spells are already used? Um, Maligos just gonna deal four damage, and there's not gonna be any more spells really. True, and your your armor up negates the Maligos attack every turn. Raven idols. You, I'm not sure if we've seen Raven idols because oh, no. we just jumped mid game, but so Raven idol can always prepare um, get some more spells. Well, that's it's that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean that works. You can slam it, or you can just blast your it, or even bash it, if you don't want to draw cards with slam. Yeah, and, and as you mentioned, we have sort of jumped in halfway through this game, so we're not sure if, you know, where the arcane giants are, if they're, you know, being used or not, so I'm not exactly sure what's left for each player, but what I can see is that Hoy's running out of cards pretty quickly. Here. That's four damage. Yep, so is the hero power of the warrior. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Tank up is a bit too much, and uh, also uh, how is going to hit fatigue first. Yeah, and I, am, I imagine there's nothing too impactful left in Hoy's deck because even with the um, with the fatigue potential, you might still want to nourish if you've got like double arcane giant left, right? And you just want to pile on the pressure early, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hoy can, uh, sorry, AK Wonder can just do whatever he wants. Yeah, I feel like the, on in the game. The only way AK Wonder can still lose is if he plays his own Yogg. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> that's actually true. I don't Yogg's see any other way. To death. Yeah, and, and there's never a point where you'd feel the need to play Yogg, right? Not in this position. Uh, if you're so far ahead and you're feeling so confident, yeah. even for style points, I if would there was play suddenly, Yogg. If there was suddenly to be a board with like double arcane giant along with this and and Arkad Wonder didn't have to brawl here, then he yeah, might have been forced to yeah. use the Yogg and yeah. But, but now that he has to brawl, he definitely can yeah, handle any kind of board. And and uh, it didn't take us long because we just whipped in halfway through, but AK Wonder does take the win over Hoy. But uh, as we said, that last game, obviously we didn't see the pre the rest of the series, but that last game is so difficult as the Druid. I actually just don't know how you win. Um, it's very tough. Unless the Warriors, uh, the Warriors game plan goes terribly wrong in terms of the order of the deck, yeah. then it's it's very uphill climb for the Druid definitely. And I'm pretty sure Hoy was already in the mindset as well that he lost this game a long time ago, right? But it's, it's just, you have to still play it out just in, in hopes yeah. that something uh, insane would happen. Uh, but it's still like it's it's so desperate it's it's so it's such it's such desperation basically to um play keep playing against this deck and just drains your hope turn by turn but with every <laughs> tank up <laughs> you put it in a very grim light but uh yeah sometimes you definitely have to play the, till the end there's no reason it. not to carry on right you know yeah. if, especially if it's the last game potentially in the series you think you're going to lose maybe why I not just play it out maybe he will play the oxaron and get Triple Pyroblast to his own face. Yeah, but we do get to see the best plays of the match, which hopefully will be out of the whole match, and not just the game we saw. This is presented by HP. Although it doesn't like it is out the game we saw, so it is taken off the stream. So do you remember this moment, guys? The double moon fire to the face? It feels like so long ago. That looked pretty dangerous, but AK Wonder wasn't phased by that play. He was like, yeah, sure, I have the hero power. I have whatever I want. Yeah. I think, uh, it, like, uh, you know, we've harped on about it a little bit, but in this matchup as the Warrior, your game plan is very straightforward, whereas the Druid has to pull something out of the bag to make, you know, to make the win happen. So. And any other class would be dead here in this point, but the Warrior, with so much armor at its disposal, and there he is. surviving everything. AK Wonder, congratulations on your win, and welcome to the couch. Thank you, thank you. Hello, so everyone. So can you please take us, because we have only seen that one scene from the from the match. Can you take us through the whole match? Like, what happened with the with the picks and bans first? I, I would say picks and bans is harder than I thought. It's even harder than playing this game. <laughs> because it's like playing nine 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 different classes in, in the same tournament is something that I never done before. So, so yeah, it's hard. But yeah, at the picks and bans, we know each other so well because we play, like, pretty much every week in tournaments, not because we are partners or something, yes, in tournaments. I thought he was bringing his druid, his GSR druid with a lot of towns and stuff, so I was scared with my, even with my warrior because maybe uh, if he's playing a lot of big minions, I don't have enough removal and stuff to to get him in, in fatigue or something like that. 
then I saw he was playing Maligos because because he wasn't playing any big minion. So in in this last matchup, I was like a bit uh, calm because I knew that just armor up, remove everything, you will be fine, right? Yeah, the, the game plan in that matchup as the warrior is very straightforward, right? Yeah. You know what you need to do, and as long as anything doesn't go crazily wrong, you should be pretty happy. Actually, you I don't know if you saw that, but I kept uh, um, uh, Justicar in my starting hand. Justicar. We, ha we oh, haven't, we didn't but that it, was no. really good. Yeah, yeah. You when we joined yeah. in, you already had like a good situation with armors and yeah. then tank up. It says a lot of the match if I keep this card, if I can keep it and start tanking up. Tanking up. But what happened before? Like, uh, what uh, decks did you guys yeah, have? Yeah, actually, how did you start? the 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 most important uh, matchup was the Mirror uh, Warrior control against Warrior Ooh. control. He was playing in Zod. He was a bit favored. Actually, he was favored. So I had to take some risk in the game. Like, I cannot play uh, mm, like slowly as I would love to as a Warrior control because I know he is gonna outvalue me because I can't play. My 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 monkey. I don't know the six six that transforms or your golden monkey. Yeah, golden yeah monkey. Gone. Okay, so I can play that card because he's always playing and so after it, and and re and re Silvana comes and Kain comes, everything comes. So I cannot play this card. That means I have to be ahead on the match always in card like uh, at least not have. Uh, less cards than him and more armor than him, and this is I impossible when he plays Kyren. I have to spend a lot mm -hmm. of removals. Uh, maybe he's playing Harrison. I don't know. So if I play my my seven one weapon, he's gonna Harrison it even for one card. But I will not have enough value to remove minions, so I will be behind on on armor, and and it will end up in a situation where I cannot play the monkey because of his sword, and I cannot tank up more than him. So, so how did you win if you never played the monkey? Yeah. So I played Jock. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what, what Get out. <laughs> you, Get you, out. Okay. Leave. you know what happened? <laughs> oh come on. Naturalize on my Jock. So I was ahead in cars. He he drew <laughs> two more cars. I mean I played Jock with only four spells and it was pretty unfair because I only draw one and he drew two cars. So we kept armoring up. I was uh, okay, now I am ahead, a bit ahead on fatigue, so let's see if I can handle it, because I had the coin, I could play Sylvanas coin, Brawl, when he plays, and so, so I think I, I have enough value to, to keep going for fatigue plan, and yeah, uh, he just uh, thought that he was behind, he he needed to play a card, because you know, in the mirror matchup, you have to, you have like, cards, someone you have has to play, to play yeah. something first, so yeah, he yeah. so he only uh, had to play, like, he, he I think, he only had like brawls, removals, so he was forced to play Sylvanas. And I played Acolyte, Shield Slam, his Sylvanas, Blood Waker, blah, blah, blah. You, you mentioned before that um, this nine deck format that we're playing today is like the hardest format you've ever played, right? Yeah. What, what personally would you describe as the hardest part about this format? What do you mean? What, what would you describe as the hardest, for you personally, the hardest part of this tournament? I mean, the hardest part of this whole thing. The format. Picking? About the format, the hardest part of the, mo of yeah, the format. Yeah, but like, what, yeah. what specifically about it? So, it, so is it like the, the pick and ban phase, or the actual having to be able to have nine decks at the same no, time? No, you need no, no. Having nine decks that make sense with each other is fine, but when you have to ban, uh, this becomes like every every game when you have to ban every game, it becomes like a new strategy for a whole tournament because you have to choose some decks to play this game like if like as, as you do for a single tournament you usually pick four decks or three decks or whatever and just and keep them and you yeah. go yeah. for the whole tournament you have to do it for every game and against a different player and you know all of them you know some of the weakness of the players or 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 not but so, so for me mm, doing the ban phase becomes like preparing for a new tournament and that's it, it, for me, it takes it takes some hours w to do for when I'm on home, and I and I have to do it in like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So my question to, uh, to follow up would be because here we mostly have invited players, so you, as you mentioned, you know the guys, so you know more or less when you do the picks and bans, you know what to do because you know the preferences. Uh, if we adapt this format in the future for an open tournament, would that be you think good or not? Because you will not know the players you're playing it against. It would be different. You you should like. Uh, learn a strategy on picks bans like a tree with if he wants this I will ban this if he wants this I will ban this and it will end up in a theory strategy 
like uh, like I chess. Think, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's what a lot of the players have done. Actually, they've literally made like trees and been like, if this happens, I follow this route. If this happens, I follow this route, yeah. and have done it for every possible outcome. Which again, just uh, I like it because it's just that extra level of I love like, preparation it. is insane. Yeah, not, like, not not to mention the mind games that you can yeah. put uh, on your opponent. Like if you expect your opponent to do this, like spread um, not spreadsheet. What's it called? The flowchart. Like uh, yeah. The the whole flowchart pick and ban order. Then you can like kind of interrupt it by just. Uh, doing something unexpected. Yeah. But Priest, first pick, <laughs> first ban, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this is enough for this interview. You have to prepare for your next match versus Life Coach. So just give us some time, and we will be back with more Hearthstone after break.